There's only 74 southern resident killer whales left, and the world recently learned the heartbreaking news that two more youngsters have passed away. This is literally what extinction looks like. There's many reasons why the southern residents are endangered, and I'm going to go through the top three main reasons. The first is low Chinook salmon availability. Southern residents rely on Chinook salmon for 80% of their diet, and recently we've seen historically low salmon stocks. Now this is because we've been overfishing in their critical habitat, climate change is also impacting their streams, and lastly we've been damming up streams and salmon are unable to reach important spawning grounds. The second reason is pollution. Lately we've seen historically high numbers of PCBs and microplastics contaminating their waterways. The third reason is vessel traffic. As we increase the number of vessels, we increase the amount of noise going through their critical habitat. Now this is detrimental to our southern resident killer whales because they use echolocation to find and hunt their prey. So as we increase the amount of noise and vessels, we disturb and impact their ability to successfully hunt salmon. The southern resident orcas are barely hanging on as it is. And there's one project that if it gets built, it will magnify all of these threats. Trans Mountain Pipeline would lead to a 700% increase in oil tanker traffic through the Vancouver Harbour. That's one oil tanker a day, straight through the critical habitat of the southern resident killer whales. But it's not just the direct impact on this species we're concerned about. The pipeline would lead to a massive expansion of the Alberta tar sands, one of the most polluting projects in the country, at a time when climate change is already causing warming of the Fraser River and decimating the salmon stocks that this species relies on. But the worst fears for opponents of this pipeline would be an oil spill in the Salish Sea. One bad day is all it would take to ruin the marine ecosystem for generations that these whales rely upon. We cannot let that happen. We must stop this pipeline. The federal government needs to fulfill its commitments under the Species at Risk Act and actually effectively protect the southern residents' critical habitat. This means reducing the amount of vessels within the critical habitat and reducing the amount of fish we take from it. As well, we need to work to restore the Chinook salmon bearing streams. And this is all made possible if the federal government issues an emergency protection order.